Hi, Dr. Thorsak from Healing Passion here again. Today, we are going to explore how our cells mounting the adaptive responses to external and internal challenges. Our body are constantly exposed to environmental and physiological triggers, ranging from toxins, chemicals, and microbes to numerous internal stressors that relentlessly demand relevant gene transcriptions and translation of numerous proteins while preventing the accumulations of non-functional proteins or proteostasis in the cells. This adaptation occurs on different biological levels. However, today we are going to explore machinery at the cellular events, which are collectively known as the Integrated Stress Response or ISR. Various external and internal triggers such as toxins, infection, cell damage, calcium disruptions, oxidative stress, nutrient deprivation, hypoxia, or accumulation of non-functional or unfolded protein activate a variety of cellular ISR pathways. This ISR adaptation involves the phosphorylation of eukaryotic translation initiation factor to alpha or EIF to alpha, which lead to a decrease in global protein synthesis and the inductions of selected genes expression, including the activation transcription factor 4 or ATF4. ATF4 induces the expression of a wide range of pro survival genes with the subsequent translation of proteins that are involved in autophagy, mitophagy, apoptosis, oxidative stress, and amino acid synthesis. These ISR programmed gene expressions optimize the cellular response to stress. Their responses are dependent on the cellular context as well as on the nature and intensity of the stress stimuli. As an important pathway in ISR, unfolded protein responses or UPRs occur in both the endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria. These responses restore cellular homeostasis through either the degradations of non-functional proteins or synthesis of new proteins in the endoplasmic reticulum and through the mitochondria dynamics. Together, the endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria work in concert to maintain the balance of cell anabolism and catabolism to help cells survive through various stressors. Upon danger signal encountering, ISR also initiate NLRP3 inflammasome assembly, which moderate the production and release of pro-inflammatory cytokines, including interleukin-1 betas and interleukin-18. Once activated, the mature cytokines will be released by the cells. These cytokines are essential for initiating mountings and regulating systemic immune response. Therefore, these cellular adaptive events intertwine with host immune activation and subsequent metabolic, catabolic, and anabolic responses that moderate host tissue repair and control tissue damage while facilitating cellular waste removal. Although the ISI is primarily a pro-survival homeostatic program, Exposure to severe and ongoing stress can drive signaling toward cellular damage or even cellular death. Once the accumulated challenge surpasses the host tolerance, the dysfunctional cellular activities and the overwhelming of cellular waste cause negative consequences. Disabled proteostasis and macroautophagy lead to accumulated organelle dysfunction and damage. The unrestrained inflammasome activation could contribute to the chronic inflammation that underlie the pathophysiologic processes of chronic illnesses such as metabolic disorders, neurodegenerative disease, cancer, autoimmune disorders, and age-related conditions. Ultimately, regulated cellular ISR is the linchpin that holds the cellular homeostasis toward various stressors in our modern-day lifestyle. Therefore, understanding the cellular integrated stress response is a step toward finding how to promote our long-term health.
That will be all for today. We shall explore deeper into the roles of mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum as the cellular yin and yang regulators of host metabolism in the next video. Thanks for watching.